What's up guys? This is the Roy from and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, we have landed an army off the coast of Jamaica and the British have sallied forward to try and destroy us. However, I feel it will be them who is destroyed rather than us. Most of their forces are quite heavily depleted, so let's take them out. This will be another uh, significant capture for our empire. It will add another fairly good, I think, sugar uh, plantation into our trade network. And then we can carry on pushing north and eventually landing on to somewhere like Florida or maybe Georgia. We want to expand our trade empire before the next war in Europe kicks off. So what I'm going to do is actually deploy my militia up. Then leave my artillery unlimbered because the enemy force... Well, it's the enemy reinforcements are coming in, which are the greater threat. So just kind of be, be a bit defensive with everyone until we see where the enemy's coming in. Bring my skirmish cavalry together. Colonial lights go wide. Let's see where they come in. Okay, actually pretty good positioning, actually. Keep my skirmish cavalry out wide and fire it will on. So let's draw, bring my howitzers further away. Watch artillery and limber, begin engaging at range. Let's deploy my line. Bring my frontiersmen together on the left. My bowmen just uh, take position behind the lines. It looks like we do have an enemy charge and they could go straight for my militia. Because they are a bit of a vulnerable centre point. Enemy guns are engaging. My howitzers. Fortunately, didn't do any damage. So my guns are engaging. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. Near misses will kill a lot of good men. We've started to engage the enemy Colonial Light Cavalry. My native Bowman Auxiliary. I was going to say they may engage them with bow fire, but maybe not. Howitzers and Limber. Large enemy cavalry concentration there. But at least my, my uh, Bowman provided a little bit of extra firepower. It looks like a good portion of these enemy units, well they were, going towards my centre. My howitzers can engage the enemy cavalry. Yeah, he men form square. And lose some men. In friendly fire, no doubt. Up. Yeah, again, you guys are going to come in, and my native bowmen are going to provide additional firepower. Make ready. Fire! A few extra kills there, that's not bad. Oh, if these frontiersmen engage. Yeah, we've completely broken that enemy push. But now. Okay, we'll probably end up having two axes of advance here. We have one enemy force coming in on the left. These men may actually hold their position. My line infantry, however, will pivot. My cavalry will push up. So these men can begin to engage the enemy infantry on the left with the support of the light cavalry. Maybe re-target my gunners, or my howitzers at least. OK, 
here. It looks like they are attempting, unsurprisingly, to push our flank. So we are going to push everyone up. You two men can go ahead and advance towards the enemy threat with a unit of cavalry. Get my bowmen up on the lines. Plenty of light, engage the 11th, and they'll go on against the three pounder horse artillery. The enemy commander's been killed. Let's get my general over here to fill in the gaps, because my militia is also wavering under concentrated artillery fire, as well as enemy pistol shot. The human fall back to fill in the gaps. Okay, bring my skirmish cavalry over here on mass, because you've got enemy buccaneers plus the guns. You men go after the horse artillery. We have a colonial light cavalry in it charging, but they will not stop us. My militia have broken, but it will not be long until the enemy on this flank have broken entirely. There we go. We've managed to make it past that unit of light cavalry. You chase down the buccaneers because they are routing already. These pueblos are going to go after these buccaneers. Gunners cease fire, howitzers cease fire. Let's go for the general's bodyguard as well. It looks like the enemy front has collapsed largely. Bring these colonial militia back into the fold. Push forward the line. You men come over here and go get the buccaneers. My light cavalry has been caught out by the enemy light cavalry. Remains to be seen if we can hold them off. Should do okay. Push out my skirmishes. So my native troops take out the buccaneers. Come on, they're going down hard. Push my general across. Okay, so this is where the next enemy threat axis is coming from. So my frontiersmen. Good volley. My cavalry may break out on the... I mean, they are strung out a bit. That's the enemy general broken. What I'd like to see... Something like this, so I can pivot some of my line, pivot my skirmishes. I have recalled my colonial light cavalry. Push my militia past this infantry, assuming they rout. There goes another enemy commander. Combine my skirmish cavalry together with fire at will at the ready. The enemy force here has broken. So let's keep pushing our line forward. Howitzers begin to pick off enemy units. Engage the light horse, send my general in for support. You men keep pointing a forward and attacking the enemy infantry. Yeah. So my skirmish cavalry are engaging the enemy. Actually, let's give. No, okay, you guys can engage them. Keep pushing forward. So we are putting our general at risk. Buccaneers are taking a lot of precision musket fire. Push forward the militia. Push forward the infantry. Push forward the skirmishers. There we go. The pocket is now being formed. Bit of a... It's possible my general dies if he gets involved in a 
unfortunate 1v1. But it looks like he isn't going to be involved in a, in a 1v1. How about though? The frontiersmen charge the, the gun crews. Probably the only infantry type I don't mind them attacking. My archer auxiliary I've forgotten about. Maybe that's the gun crew shattered. Cavalry out on the dis out on the flanks. It looks like they're probably gonna get engaged. Cavalry push the flank. It looks like though this is the end of the enemy forces. Pushing up. Artillery all engage the 48th Regiment on the flank. These brave souls, 40th Regiment, Colonial Line. Like the skirmishes are going to be in, in point blank range. They don't give a damn. They'll take you out as the artillery continues to fall. 48th in the rear is being engaged by my foot artillery. They've broken. How are the shots coming in attacking the 40th regiment? It's remarkable of you men to stand. Keep pushing. Keep squeezing. Push the cavalry in. Cease fire the guns. I mean, ultimately, we're not going to kill all the units off, I would imagine, because it's they're so close to the line. But we can have a darn good try. Come on. Focus on this unit first. And I'll free up cavalry. Oh no, there's a guy right at the edge of the map there. Darn. But still, that is a good victory for our forces ashore. We lost 373 men, they lost 1,500. Yeah, the Mount Tribal Auxiliary and the Cavalry claiming a lot of good kills, but the Frontiersmen also doing some good work. Huzzah! So everyone's falling back because they've been defeated in battle. Ooh, France has defeated Sweden. And retaken Brussels. They demand a definite military access. If we get rid of the indefinite military access and the, just keep the drill, see if we can get a grand out of them. Nope, they've rejected it. Very well, we are quite well equipped on the French frontier anyway. If they wish to uh, go to any mischief, then we can deal with them. Comes the Spanish Navy. Up to no good. Spanish gentleman is moving back towards Spanish heartland territories. Prussia is in trouble. Poland is doing okay. The Ottoman Republic wants Istanbul back, but they cannot get it. Oh no. Okay. Go. So you guys, good at naval battles, would probably have a really good shot at this. I'm going to run. Go, go, gadget, order resolve. Ah, oh, we lost. And we die. Sweet. Okay, no, awesome. <laughs> right, okay. But we do have a fleet in the theatre ready. We're going to attack those Russians and we're going to send them back to the homeland to be repaired, refitted and sent back out with another navy. So here comes a Swedish navy. They're doing some pirating off our shores. Don't much care for that, but there we go. 13 colonies, Louisiana, bada bing, bada boom. Give us a friend, give us our turn. Please. 
Got the Mughals, the Italian states, Venezia. Got Genoa. I'm glad, I'm glad we got our. Oh, nuts. Okay. Oh. This is going to cause us some issues on the uh, <laughs> on the trade front, but we will rebuild. Yes, bring in the fourth-rate fleet to us, for God's sake, Holland. Okay, a weakened fleet going out to sea. The Dutch are retaking Amsterdam. Okay, so lots has happened there. So the Ivory Coast, this damaged fleet will stay on their position. They will be reinforced by this depleted fourth rate. You will attack this Russian fleet here to capture those ships and get them sent back to Portugal. Some good construction done here, so I'm tempted just to bump up the iron workshops a bit. But I am going to want to send out more fleets. So let's take you. Keep you in the bay. So I, I want you guys here to protect, you know, my home territory. So you will, like, will recruit. So you've got currently fourths and fifths. So let's get you so a good a good chunk of third rates, and then you can go back out. I could really do with more capacity, really. So let's upgrade, let's buy some fourths, and I'm going to upgrade Portsmouth to a dry dock. Okay, before I go too crazy, I do have this force here. Let's go take Port Royal. We effectively fought this action, so let's just uh, auto-resolve that. And then mop up Go into here and then attack. Yeah, like, like they're all just yeah. Oh, if they said one more hurrah, they'd have got the lot. So you men replenish, get back to Jamaica. Let's crew sloop to occupy territory. Let's get rid of the military governor's barracks because we don't need it. Now we got New Andalusia down here to recruit from. Abundant yield sugar. You currently haven't capped out your sugar production. But I am instead... Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, piece of Spain. But we do have territories up to the north. Okay, so I think... Well, they're going to have to hold here. Well, actually, no, they're not going to hold. They're probably going to land at, land at Charleston, maybe. Or... Okay, right. Before I go too crazy with options and potential... Get these gunners into Lisbon. That gets me this sloop out here. This force embark. New men sail to the Americas. Maybe we might get an eye on that calling fleet as well. Nope. Um, but what I would like... Oh yes, also move this sloop to Palma de Mallorca. Um, okay, interesting that that symbol is messed up. Um, what I'm thinking is when that fleet comes over to the Americas, they can hit Newfoundland. And then this force down here, well, they're going to jump and take Nassau. Then they're probably going to land at Fort Nashwak. And then these three armies are going to sort of converge around about here. But be careful about the Huron, though. Because they will need taken care of. One thing I am tempted to do is will Britain seek peace? It will. Can't trade with them, but the Ottomans. Hey, hey, hey. Trade ahoy. You want, ooh, you want an alliance. You're allied with Austria. To be honest, that's probably not. Okay, right. Huh. If we do this. I'm sort of picking a size, but I suppose that is okay. Okay. 
Oh, Wurttemberg. Oh, hey, Wurttemberg. Interesting. They're also allies with... Okay, let's pick a side. Let's pick a side. We're allying with Austria and Sweden. Which actually then really protects my eastern front. It does leave Brussels as the last territory to take. And I think I would be crazy to not want to attack Brussels. Attack Brussels. Destroy the French. That opens up a lot of their uh, colonies to me. That opens up a lot of territories that will now become pirate kingdoms and much more uh, much more manageable to attack. Let's get it done. Let's, let's destroy the old French Empire that attacked me for no good reason, simply because I destroyed their ally. Gunners on the hill, get ready to destroy buildings. So, Irish Brigade, okay, regular infantry are better suited to go through the town, and they will. Irish Brigade, push my right, plus my irregulars are going to push one of the flanks backed up by Grenadiers. In the centre, we're going to have a reserve brigade ready to also push cavalry on either flank. Let's get rid of this stat thing. General is going to be on the flank. So I didn't deploy all of my guns. Unlimber. these two brigades form up on this hill. I keep bouncing around whether they're calling them brigades and companies and advance. Lots of enemy cavalry here. Push up at speed. Ready to form up. My grenadiers are ready. Regiment of horse go on the flank. Form square. Enemy cavalry coming in. If we assume that you also form square. Form squares across the board. Grenadiers, counter charge. My regulars can keep away the 8th light horse. You e men, cease fire. Gunfires keeping away the bulk of the enemy cavalry. I mean, my cavalry would probably be quite good in the center, but the 11th light horse are not going to break my squares. Okay, right. Fusiliers and the 5th form up on this hill. Enemy cavalry threat has been defeated, so you men advance. How it says engage the cluster of troops here. So the second regiment push up into this gap, reload, and engage the 16th on the flank. Skirmishers push up. The enemy gunfire is causing some significant morale challenges. Format this unit of line infantry. Okay, so this infantry also form up here and engage the 7th. Regulars run, get my general back towards the center. I mean, oh, fusiliers make ready and fire, because some of these units don't have fire at will orders. Superior actually my fusiliers is causing the enemy some discomfort. First regiment of foot, garrison provincial infantry. You poor souls. Let's 
smash my cavalry into this militia unit so we can push, we can more roll up through the town. How about you? You men advance into point blank range. My Irish brigade advance through the combat, assuming it will probably be over. There it goes. My regulars can push out to the flank. And they're going to be very upset from being outmaneuvered. Provincial militia. Engage them with how it's fire. These regiment of horse on the flank isn't really doing anything. But we are engaged in a bit more of a tradi traditional musket fight. So you men form up. Both form up here. It won't maximise the firepower, but it will allow them to... They'll get more volleys off, at least. And it's the volleys that at least provide a morale impact. Redirect the artillery fire. My guns. My infantry push up. Fusiliers that are still invested in ranged combat push up. Even men engage the 8th light horse before they potentially run down my skirmishes. Give my infantry orders to advance through the town. You men. You men advance in your own time. Get my cavalry up to this. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a pulley. It's a pulley to pull something from something. But I'm not sure where. Looks like it connects. Oh, it's a zip line. So you stand here and go zip, and smash into that window. That's what you do. So the skirmishers are here. Just keep picking at the fourth regiment. To be honest, this cavalry it can just charge the twelfth. So it's only the guys looking this way who have any idea what's happening. So they're going, hmm, there's some running guys. Oh no. Guys on horses with swords. And they're coming this way. Some of them died of fright. And there's some more enemy troops hiding here. Yeah? Oh, skirmishes engage. Apologies for... Oh, apologies for not letting you men shoot the enemy. But I think this is going to end by cavalry storm. Second regiment of horse going to mow down first regiment of militia. Gunners cease fire. Kill. Take the standard. Take it. I wish that was a mechanic. Got him. Huzzah! Obviously, there's a unit that's come back. So let's march my cavalry towards them. Speed up a little time, a little bit. then charge them down. So these men are going to tr they're trying to orderly withdraw out through these woods, but they're going to get caught in the open by my cavalry. The officer's running back to try and steady his men. Well, he's not dead, he's still kicking. Although he is shuffling backwards. They broke under further cavalry attack. Huzzah!
Nice. So that is the French capital destroyed. That is France now annihilated. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, big stack. Once it crunches the numbers. There we go. So repair Brussels. Destroy Antwerp. Upgrade the roads to allow supply to flow back to the front line. Upgrade or re replenish my garrison. And preemptively recruit a sloop here in Greenwich to occupy Antwerp. And then we want a small army here just to hold the bridge towards the United Provinces. But then again, we're all one big happy family now in Western Europe. Hooray! Now leave my borders. Please. Lots of good, friendly trade relationships. And we so we want more goods. More goods, more supplies, more Ah, oh, I didn't attack the damn Russians. But that's pretty neat. Hello. Yes. So okay, so now I've officially picked a side. Ooh. Dare I, do I want to Okay. You know, you know what? We are good allies. Although joint stock companies and rights of man are very good good technologies. Are they going to buy basic steam pump? Yes. Yes, we are good peoples. We are, we are a benevolent Western Catholic Empire. We do not want trouble with the, the good peoples of the rest of Europe. Although we have picked a side in a great war. Although it's the only side, I think. Because everyone else is... Uh, allies is... Uh, <laughs> allied together against Russia. I was already screwing that up with an axis against Russia. Oh, damn. Go get him. As long as they're not... As long as they aren't uh, lost. Although, to be honest, I could probably do with some of these fleets coming back to Europe. I need to invest more in my fleet structure, I think. Build some more trade fleets and get them out there. I need more goods, and I mean, I'm so tempted by Ceylon. But I don't like that, Savoy. One bit. But I'm very tempted by Ceylon, because Ceylon is currently unoccupied, and it would give me tea production. But I do want to keep my... It is in my interests to keep uh, India divided. But it will take my... I will prioritise, and always prioritise, the growth of my trade empire above all else. That's not super good either. 4,500. Okay, so, firstly. Ultimately, all of you guys, it's going to suck. Oh no, I suppose you don't need to. You can go there. You men scoot around the Russians and go there. First of all, there's a new town emerged. Galway. Here you go. Have a weavers. Before we do that, we do have to really quickly... So, I mean, they've got two force rates, so let's send... a squadron of ships to capture those. Because at least we can... Well, if we take them... Well, I'm not damaging my whole fleet to go and capture a fragment of the Russian Navy. Straight at him, sir. But yeah, I think this could work. Might take a bit more micro than managing whole fleets. But like these, these ships will definitely capture both of these and they'll sail back to Portugal for repairs then we can around the around this core of ships send or build another small fleet i mean yeah look they're there going oh we're gonna try and cut off the, we're gonna try and cross your t i'm going but we have the weather gauge speedy ships are us especially with fourth rates i mean the fifth rate at the back is yeah like the sails are constantly 
changing their sail to stay to keep their position behind this fourth rate. Yeah, let this ever so slowly try and cross the T. Yeah, they are going to get their first shot off against probably Santo Agostino. They may even reload in time to fire off a second broadside. You're going to fire chains. I want to knock you down. Hey, you're turning into us. Keep your sail. Turning into us? Oh no, we are going to cut them off. Keep those ships sailing on ahead of us. We need these two to secure Gleb. Spill the wind from your sails. But you will cut her off. Load your broadside. The chasers are trying to engage my ship. The mizzen's gone. So this ship pretty much just pivot, but just drop anchor. You're going to need to keep sailing to keep her in. Just to make sure she's really good in the middle of your arc. And drop anchor. Just strip her of sails. Sail on it. Sail on ahead because it looks like. Turning. They're still alive up in the sails. And then put the con something or other Constantin to the s to the rear. The leaky knyas knyas Constantin. Oh well. Get ready to fire another broadside. How about you? You want to be pretty good to fire ch chain into the ship to the rear as well. Keep sailing on ahead. Causing upset. Not a huge amount else than that, but now let's try to cut this fifth rate in as well, just to further block off sails. Fire your broadside, just fire your shots at will. Come on, knock out her sails. There goes the mainmast. He's wavering. She's routing, and now she can't route anywhere because she is dismasted. Although she's flit, she's kind of flitting. Sail on ahead. Just keep pumping shots into him. Just fire your little broadside. Still routing. Wavering. Can't make up her mind. Sail on ahead. Yep, 
you're going to get a bit stuck too. You're too wavering. There we go. Cut you off. And my faster fifth rate. You may as well just keep firing just regular broadsides. <laughs> Everyone fire round shot. Yeah, all my fourth rates is taking a bit of a hammering. But so are theirs. Surrendered. The ship is now wavering. Routing. You're not going to escape. Speed up time. See, she's routing. Go on, you guys try border. Although there's going to be a bit of fratricide here. Oh, she surrendered anyway. Nice, nice, nice. So then this squadron. Okay, you've collected two more Russian ships of the line. Gleb. Secret Foreign Admiral Daniel Ots Dan Daniel Ostaltsov. You men, get back to Europe. Guarding fleet sit on the trade post. Although, to be honest, can you then also go grab some of you? Ah, Morocco. Morocco is ripe for the taking, but not yet. I mean, we've got to be careful, ideally. Okay, let's recruit an infantry general. Because we could do a lot from a from having a reserve army. Because these two could hold the cities. Which we will fortify. But we'd like to have an extra army here to act as a bit of a firefighter. Uh, Strasbourg is getting better roads. Okay, right. So what I want to do... I wonder... It's a militia unit. We'll go to Porto. And we will start to... I can't build fourth rates till we get up top. Is it better to do it here? So no, I don't know. It's going to take too long. It is, it is qu much quicker from dockyards. Just keep shutting out two fourth rates, sail them out, and pick up fifth rates for further escort for the trade zones. Um. Your roads are nearly top tier. Everyone else is okay. Fleet arrives. So this force... There we go. So these have all become pirate nations. Quebec's become Quebec. Oop, you're going to sail up and attack Newfoundland. Which is it's likely going to be an auto-resolve because there's going to be a pirate garrison. Yeah. Yeah. Chomp. So we're taking Newfoundland. You men reinforce. Repair the port. You're fairly good as far as religion goes, but you've got a little bit of religious unrest. But overall, that's okay. Ooh, fur trappers. Let's get your goods to market. Let's get the craft workshop up and running. Get the port up here going. Build the sloop. Yeah, add more pelts to our export market. Edward Russell can clear off. We've got some visibility on... Ooh! They've... Right, okay, okay. Okay. Once we build a sloop, we're going to go up to York Factory and take that away from the Russians. Not let them get away with that. That's for darn sure. Mm. Um, but in general, everything else looks... Okay, you're getting your extra third rates imminently. 
Okay, tech's going on okay. Orleon, you were on Cadence Marching, but you've gone on to Diamond Formation. I'd rather you go on to Punch Card Loom. Good. So we sorted out Galway. We sorted out the Fleet of Robes. Construction Report, we haven't directly done anything on, but we don't have to yet. Let's hit end turn. Let's watch Europe continue to tear itself apart. We haven't got to worry about that. Looks like Spain's probably going to pick up an army. It's only, it's only a matter of time before we eventually start a <clears throat> conflict against the Prussians. What I think. Yeah. For now we're okay. We can keep on our offensive. Hmm. The Russian Navy grows stronger. It would be good to have a, a presence in the Baltic to prevent Russian fleet action from interfering with our plans. They may still recruit ships on the northern coast, but there's not a lot we can do about that. And there goes the Swedish. They want to make their presence felt on the high seas. It's their prerogative, but uh, we do want to make sure that people are aware that we are the rulers of the sea. People only conduct matters, well, matters at sea, with the grace of the Portuguese Empire. I fear the long, the uh, the length of the Mughal Empire, or the length of their existence in this campaign, is likely to be shorter, because it appears that the Marathas have consolidated their territory, and they are now on the offensive. Where's the call and fleet? Pirates are now a thing. Oh yes, because the French territories. Oh, frustrating. Port blockaded. Race built galleon, the rising sun. So if I upgrade you, we can leave Port Royal immediately. Excellent. So you men can embark. And then you can sail to Martinique and attack the pirates. I mean, it's just going to be another auto job. Build basic roads. Replenish, repair the port. Get up here at Port Royal, rebuild. Build, build a sloop. Some good construction done. Recruitment for my backup armies is taking place. Fortifications at Brussels are on the way. Let's build better roads at Brussels as well. Okay, this fleet make for Porto for repairs. These third rates. There we go. That's quite a nice mid tier navy. You men sail to West Africa. So you men replenish. And you can pick up... Eh, pick up one fifth rate. And maybe a fifth rate from Bilbao. Could probably do with... Building some more... Admiral's flagships. The first rates of the line are pricey. They are very pricey at a time where we want to boom our economy. So let's go back to the Americas. Let's make sure... Coffee, cotton... Well, ultimately, what's the best commodity at the moment? Cotton, then... Oh no, it's tobacco backed up by cotton. Okay, do we have any tobacco plantations? Uh, I don't, we might not actually. Oh no, we do. Somewhere we do. Here it is. That's oh, a low yield. So that's why we're currently producing 115 sacks. We must have more. We must have more than that then. Uh, coffee, 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 coffee. Guatemala. Oh, you're you're maxed out. And in Colombia, yours is maxed out too. Actually, I suppose that's just being very assumption. Ah, there's 
There's Colombian coffee, sure. No, apparently not. Okay. Then the next co next thing is cotton, which we can upgrade. Oh, it's a meager yield. For an extra 15 bales, that will do it. More production. Oh, there's coffee production boost. Good. So you will probably start to butt up against export limits at some point. But if you do, we can deal with that. And then let's upgrade these craft workshops here in Caracas. Oh, and we can upgrade this large sugar plantation. It's got an abundant yield. Excellent. Okay. You're repairing. Okay, every, everything's okay. So this hasn't quite gone to plan because I want to build my the more trade fleets. So I've got no visibility off the coast of Brazil, some visibility off the Straits of Madagascar, but we need to sink this fleet to get to it. I want some visibility of the East Indies. Basically, I need a lot more ships. That's what it comes down to a lot more ships. Bayonet, ring bayonet. Yeah, go on. For basic bayonet technologies, I don't mind giving them Spain because they might cause trouble and declare war on Rome. As it stands, we have a mighty alliance in Europe, which means I do not have to worry about war on on my shores for a while, especially when the Russians just get beaten off by the <laughs> beaten off by the Chromian Khanate. Let's move swiftly on. And then Yeah the, yeah, the Marathas still have the balance of power it looks like. Might be a time to try and sell some military technologies to the Mughal Empire to see if I can maintain if they can maintain some sort of military edge. Did you know a navy is quite potent? Pirates are going to pirate. That's okay. They could have raided Jamaica. That'd have been a lot more frustrating. This new model bayonet drill. And Dundee has grown in Scotland. So have a craft workshop. Port blockaded. Fleet arrives. Because you men can raid to help pay for the fact that you're just going to be sitting here. Okay, so I might just keep, it's probably, eh, you guys sit in the middle of the channel. Recruit an admirable, Sebastian Cortez. And then you can recruit. Uh, not admirals, flying ships. But a selection of fifth rates. You're burning, starting to build a big fleet. You could probably do with a few more heavy hitters or third rates. So let's bring you down to here. Bring out, bring out some, bring out some heavy hitters. Sixteen grand. Okay, drop a couple of a couple of economic upgrades. But I do want to take my fleet here. Well, first of all, take Mr. Figueredo out, embark him aboard ship, sail up to York Factory, because we can demand the, we can demand the surrender of the territory. They're not even going to fight for it. Get back to Fort Albany. Yes, you've got to be a bottleneck on production. But at Fort Rupert, we're going to build a church school to help begin to convert the population to Catholicism. And we're going to upgrade the fur exchange. And we're going to upgrade farm to a palatial estate. That's quite a beefy upgrade. I could probably upgrade a port for that. Or would rather upgrade some ports for that. At least from basic to the next level. And upgrade government buildings to keep people happy. You're still replenishing. But yeah, this army can sail up and land 
Bor Nashwak, maybe. This army, if you can leave the swords, which you can, embark. What I might do is you sail on, sail on down to Quebec Harbour. Oh, they have a they have an enemy fleet. So if I land now, this fifth rate exposes my sloop. Eh. Declare war. Do not call our allies. No, don't declare war because they they're allied with the Huron. So maybe keep my fleet with embarked forces outside of their danger zone. Let them build the royal palace until we take. York Factory, and then to bring this army back to Moose Factory to threaten for Salt Submarine. So the recruitment here continues. Can't do anything about it. Okay, you're protecting my northern flank. It would be very tempting to try to take something like St. Petersburg. Dusty Librarian. So you've hopped on to Diamond Formation. No, nope. carry on with reorganised procurement. Cruises the upkeep, but reduces our recruitment and also provides some good building upgrades, including the artillery building that allows us to... Research, well, down the line, will allow us to research quicklime. Poland is still managing to exist. Russia finally took Crimea, although it's, it's tempting now to take Crimea and then build a defensive garrison to uh, <laughs> just to prevent its loss. Oh, yeah, the Marathas are going to take and rule India. They're not going to assault Hyderabad. Louisiana's coming in with the save to help protect my fleet. Very noble of them. Yeah, they've taken Ahmedabad. Barabad's under siege. Yeah, I think uh, now is the time where the Mughals, well, they are a lost cause. Even if I gave them technology for a turn, it probably wouldn't have helped. Yeah, let's get some more trade ships. Oh, the Hurons have attacked us. Do I call my allies to help? No, because I don't want to risk losing allies. I'm already at war with Russia. I was going to be at war with Quebec anyway. I think I might be already at war with Poland and Spain. Probably won't want to bother. <laughs> no one needs to bother. Good. So this is where my superior naval mobility will help because you can just demand the surrender of the territory. My ships can come back. Build a magistrate. Let's assume you guys don't rebel. But you haven't. So you men can get back to this port and then advance towards the enemy. Advance up to the border through the woods. The Moose Factory recruit some militia. A new Granada has got an upgrade too. Interesting. Let's actually, let's try and get some road upgrades up through Central and South America. Well, I'm fairly sure we. Oh, doesn't matter. Anyway. A lot of good cash. Nation destroyed. Crimea. Good, good, good. That gives us an interesting target later on. You pick up a unit of Cursier, a unit of Hussars. Get some Mikulé. It can take a while to get here. This army. Upgrade the military governor's barracks and get ready to build howitzers. Or more howitzers. Um, the 
you're still getting hold of your fifth rates. Paolo Pinto. That's frustrating. That's probably that's where I want to get the fourth rates built. Let's do something like this just to keep the naval. Oh, actually, I've only got eight grand left. I want to upgrade on some economy stuff. Auto go for commercial basins. Probably a good idea. Three grand. Oh, yes, your force is already also done. You help them out. We've also got fifth rates that have been built. She's waiting for your third rates, so you will be able to explore the rest, some more of the world. You guys. Uh, where'd put you? Liverpool, maybe? Just to keep them out of the way for now. This sloop over to Antwerp. Let's upgrade Antwerp. That's a good upgrade. Okay, good stuff. Then we've also got... This army can hopefully leave the pirate island. It can. And embark. Can't build a sloop to occupy the port, which is a bit of a bit annoying. But if Nassau dies, actually, I know what I can do. Land troops off of Nassau, then bring the sloop back to Barbados. There we go. Not leaving myself exposed. These guys, I've got to be a bit careful because they've got a lot of enemy. Here on ahead of them. But let's hit end turn. Let's see what happens. Yeah, the British fleet. What will they seek to do? Just hold their position. <laughs> you let's trade Michigan for Trinidad and Tobago. No. They really took that hard. They don't call my allies to have for help. Savoy was ooh, okay. Where you wanna where do you wanna put them, eh? You really did want Trinidad very well. That now leaves all of Oh, don't blockade one of my harbours. That now ooh. I mean no. <laughs> Not with this army. If you sail on navy. If you sail on to the next one, yes, we'll nick your fifth rate. Um, but looking at the timer, we're probably going to leave the episode here. I'm only going to nick them just because they'll be useful to fill out some of my trade fleets. But yeah, this is exactly why you have forces at Gibraltar. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.